we do at Coyote Trails is provide a safe place for kids to explore and to, and to experience adventure. Uh, you have people when you're out on your solar quest who say, I, would, I, I will throw my life down to protect you. I'll be here for you. I'm not leaving this fire pit no matter what happens. And it builds this sort of confidence out there that, yeah, I can go out and try new things. But if it gets way too confusing, I can come back and I still have this safe place to go to. I learned how to do so many things in a week. Like I had every experience was something I'd never done before. And it was amazing, you know? It's like, how can in one week, I've done like the best things I've ever done. In one week, it was like the best single week of my whole life. My experience at Coyote Trails was um, life changing for my children and myself. It's something that's kind of hard to describe to people unless you experience it. I feel more free to be myself after being here. I understand more who I am. I used to be playing tons of video games and like inside just like staring at a television, but now I like the outside a lot more. What I think it represents is if you have a challenge in your life, you either let it overcome you, or you have to overcome it. What we do is provide that place for kids to really find their true inner selves. They don't have to grow up so fast here. They don't have to be adults or young men or women. They can be the age they are and happy with it and find out who they are. I didn't really know what it was going to be about. I didn't think it'd be this fun, really. I thought it'd be just kind of like some other summer camp but it's not. It's individual and it really just seems to me like when you're out and you do these wander quests and you really challenge yourself you get what you get what you need and each student gets what they need from it and what they're ready for. I remember spinning so hard and not being able to get a coal so many times and finally I get this coal and it's just like, it's like oh super excited I've got this coal and I'm shaking I'm so exhausted put the coal in my tinder bundle and it started blowing and it got hotter and hotter and it burst into flame and I was like, I can do it! And it was like amazing, you know, it's like that really kicked fire off me. a teaching method here at Coyote Trails called Coyote Teaching, which is we never really answer a question, but when a student asks a question, we ask them a question. A question that takes them further, something that will help them think about things in a more in-depth view. Looking at our hut right now, if it were to rain, say about an inch of rain, do you think it'd stay dry? When you use primitive skills, you're one with the tool. And you find out that you can have an influence on the product, what comes out. So many things that we do today, the product is already predetermined. We're just trying to figure out what that end result is. We do have some references here that if you find something and you want to see if you can identify it, See if you can identify it first yourself, and then ask for help. Well, the plant person, she told us that the flowers were white, and there's this book where it says white or like silver kind of flowers, and we looked in uh, in that section, and we found our western trillium. I finally found something I like more than computer. They're really good at reading the group and reading my, my child in the sense that they know how much time my child needs with me 
we're sleeping together in the tent every night. We're having our meals together. There's some activities that we're doing together, but they also realize that some of the growth that's gonna take place in my kid can't happen unless I'm not there. And the, they're really good at understanding that and pulling the kids away as a group and pulling the adults away so we can grow as a group. We have a lot of medically trained staff. We're very careful in regulating any medications that the kids may need. He um, said to me, Mom, he said, um, are we going to do this every year? And I said, I don't know, what do you think? He says, I hope so. I hope we come back every year. Parents, when they bring their child or their teenager, they spend quality one-on-one -on -one time with them. Once they return home, they've really had a special bond where they play with their kids and they learn how to play again. And they reawaken and rekindle that child within. And that's what build a lasting relationship in a family. Kids get the chance to um, experience the idea of their grandparents as elders, as mentors, as people who hold the knowledge. Um, this is like my first real life, so it kind of means a lot. My grandpa gave it to me. Well, I came to Coyote Trails so I could provide my grandchildren with an opportunity to get close to nature and learn about the earth and survival and more than they learn in this city. And what I was surprised to find out is that I learned more than I ever anticipated. I'm not a hardcore, you know, survivalist or anything like that. And um, I was a little concerned that it might be um, ex a little extreme, but that has not been the case at all. Um, and in fact, I, I'd like to bring my dad next year. Actually, it's kind of weird that I come here because I like to, you know, do a whole bunch of indoor stuff and just kind of chill a lot. But I'm having fun, so. <laughs> We bring people into their own heart and, and teach them to listen to their heart through instinct or intuition, not necessarily intellect. The intellect is a wonderful thing and helps us to solve problems, but the heart is something which has not been trained as much. I'm looking forward to the rest of my life, you know? because of coyote trails. And I do give them that much credit. They really turned me over. You know, they brought me back. You get to sleep outdoors or in a tent for about a week, which I've never done before, so it was really cool. You get to learn things that I would have never learned on my own. So the work that we do makes it much easier for everyone else in our family, in our community, and you know, on the earth. Every little bit makes a difference, a huge difference. No matter how small and insignificant it may appear, it makes a difference. He's by far one of the best camps and best schools of nature I've ever seen. I think if they are thinking about it, they should come, because it, it's a blast. It's fun. Yeah, one of the most amazing experiences of my life. a great place. They have excellent instructors and everybody's really interested in the betterment of the children, the group, and the earth. I was thinking that this was like gonna be like the start of my road on this adventure was right now. This wasn't preparation anymore, this was it. These nature-based skills help facilitate a shift. They act as a bridge connecting us to that which is bigger than self. Nature reflects to us who we truly are and that we belong to everything, that we belong here.